Welcome to Morning Miss May member ranking number 19. I am joined today by Miss Wendy Williams. Oh, how you doing? Today we are going to be talking, of course, about our 19th ranked Morning Miss May member. Mm. And I had to pop some pills for this one today because we are finally getting out of the way one of the most useless trollops that has ever befallen Morning Musume, and then one who's been accredited as the savior of Morning Musume. We're gonna save Jacob's number 19, but my number 19 is pre-boob job Goto Maki. I think my favorite moment with Goto Maki is that skit with me as Sunku and you as Mariko and me just screaming about Goto getting her new boobs. She's going to go pursue a a solo career. Oh, but before we do that, she's getting a few, a few things done. A few things, what thing? Going on with it today. She's Here getting some new teeth. New what? Some new what? Some what? Some whaties? Some who's? Say it, I can't hear you. New teeth. Some what? Titties. Some what? Some teeth. Big knuckles, boobs, melons, jugs. Double D's, C cups, something in between B and D. Knuckles, hoo hops, bazoongas. We're getting those done. Goto is often credited uh, saving Winnie Moose Moe because she came in during Love Machine. <laughs> Goto is also credited for looking a little bit like a pancake with ears. <laughs> I honestly feel like that mentality got a little bit to her head because she always had this better than you attitude. She was more a sensation than a actual contribution to Morning Musume. Ooh, she's the savior. Ooh, she got new titties. Ooh, she's singing about being Cinderella with her glass pumps. It's the only go-to Mackie song I know outside <laughs> of Morning Musume. <laughs> but, um... She had this one where she sang and it was like... <laughs> Goto really rocked her thirsty, bleached to fuck out hair, her always nude lip, and that. What? When did Goto bleach her hair? She came in with bleached hair. Did she? Yeah, Goto was the first person to ever come in with an unnatural hair color. But her hair wasn't bleached, it was just brown. No, it was bleached. Love Machine? Look back at Love Machine, her hair was fried. Was it my color? Mm hmm. See? No. Don't, don't take fried haired queen Tyler with <laughs> Yuko. She only has so much going for her. That all being said, Goto rocked her thirsty bleached hair, her always nude lip, and her unfilled eyebrows real, real hard. And Goto worked with an E every single time that she was on camera. Goto was a solid performer, and I'll give her that. She always gave 100%, and what she delivered on camera was twice that. The thing that I did really like about Goto is that she gave a lot of substance and character to every single line that she gave, and you could feel the emotions that were in each one of those lines. She really put herself into them and tried to reinforce the character that was supposed to be going on with that song. I'm actually kind of surprised that Goto made my number 19 because her acting skills were comparable to a salt shaker and her hair was thirstier than Mari's post-marriage, but she really rocked her stitch voice and I think that she gave a lot of herself to the group. At the end of the day, I think that she really kept the formation tight and I think she did a really great job at balancing out this superstar power that Abe had and this superstar power that was kind of growing and developing with later when Ai-chan came in, and I think that she was a really strong link between the older season members and the brand new fourth generation once they came in, and the brand new fifth generation once they came in, and she provided this nice balance between all of them. And I think that's why Goto made my number 19, because she was such a strong member, even if I didn't particularly like her, I think that what she brought to the table was enough to raise her to this point because she kept everyone so even and she really leveled the playing field because of the like just her aura and her personality and just her singing and dancing she really just kept everything together and that is something that not a lot of members have all right wendy williams oh how you doing my number 19 is the oft debated oft ridiculed oft praised 
for all, all the strangest reasons, the one, the only, Sashi Riho. What do you, what does one say about Riho? She's horrible. Okay, this is not your segment, dear. Riho is number 19 on my list for varying reasons. I was not in this group for Ai-chan and Gaki. I mean, I loved Ai-chan and I love Gaki, but my favorites were Reina and Sayumi. Like, they were the ones that, once they became leaders, I really, you know, attached to. I loved Ai-chan, I did, but Ai-chan already got all the lines, so it wasn't a big deal. And I liked Gaki, but I felt like she got lines, so it was cool. So when Riho came in and started getting a lot of lines over people like Gaki and over other girls who could sing, it didn't really bother me as much because Reina still got a lot of lines and Sayu still got the same amount of lines she was getting before, which was that one auto-tuned line in the middle that, that nobody remembers. one auto-tuned line, except for that one song where they gave it to Gaki and Sayu was just pissed. And Sayu was in the back just... Screaming, screeching. Um, so, Riho coming into the group didn't really make that much of a difference to me. So, unlike some people, I was not furious that she was getting lines over their favorites. Okay, what if Reina started getting no lines and it was Riho? Okay, but that's not what happened. But so. if it did, would you hate her as much? I don't know. That's, As I do. That is an alternate universe that I am not a member of, so I couldn't say. But anyways, so since since I do not have those negative feelings towards Riho, I look at her in a different light than some um, other people who are very bitter. No, it's not bitterness. It's that she can't sing. She is not as great of a dancer as people say that she is. She has no acting skills, and she's fake. She's, like, not... She's thicker than Godo's tits. Her her whole persona, everything about her is so fake and forced. I'm, I'm gonna let you do your thing, but I just want to tell you that Nigaki Risa had the best performance of all of Morning Musume. <laughs> I feel like there's nothing wrong with coming in and saying I want to be number one, I want to dominate the stage, and I want to be the star. I mean, just because she's the one who had the lady bits to say it out loud doesn't mean there, that no other girl that came through Morning Musume didn't have the same exact thought. So I gotta give Riho props for being honest. She came right out with what she wanted out of this group. And you know what? She frickin' achieved it. She was, is, one of the front faces of the group. She gets most of the lines, she gets a lot of screen time. She, girl made her dreams come true. I feel it's unfortunate for Riho that she didn't have necessarily the best voice coming into the group, but but when she first came in, she certainly did not have the worst voice. She had a pretty there. Were, in fact, there are girls in the group and girls who have been in the group who have had far worse voices than Sayashi Riho. What happened to Riho was she came into the group at 12 years old, was handed a bunch of solo lines that were written for voices like Nigaki, like Reina, like Ai Chan, like. Lin -lin. Lin Lin, because that's what Sunko had gotten used to writing was lines for those girls that he's still stuck in it to this day, and he didn't want to give them to Reina, he didn't want to give them to Sayu, there was really no one else, he didn't want to give them to Canon because she's fat, so, you know, this Riho, I kind of want her to be my new star, I see something in her, I see a drive, I see a determination in her, I feel like she could go really far, I'm gonna give her the lines. Well, Sunku, being the frickin' idiot that he is, doesn't realize that if you make a child sing stuff that is out of their vocal range, that if you push them to do this over and over and over again for concerts, for live performances, for music videos, eventually their developing vocal cords are just going to become thrashed. And I firmly believe that is what has happened to Riho, because when I hear her sing now, it doesn't sound like, oh, that's just Riho's voice. It sounds like the voice of somebody who damaged their, who irreparably damaged their vocal cords right in the most important part of their vocal cords development. A 12 year old shouldn't have been asked to sing that, you know, 13 year old shouldn't be. That was something for 18, 19, 20 year old singers, maybe. And it's taken its toll on, on Riho, it's stressed out her cords and she can't sing anymore. 
but couldn't ever sing. No, definitely can't sing now. I don't agree with that because I think she could sing when she came into the group just as well as some other girls. It's just that her vocal cords got pushed too much and too far and too hard, and now she can't sing because it can. There are girls who literally could not sing. Arena. I'm looking even at June June. June June. God bless her. Girl could not stay on pitch to save her life. I think her only major mistake was not taking care of herself and not and letting her ambition show so much and letting it overshadow good common sense in taking care of herself vocally. Because I feel like anybody would know, like, ooh, this hurts to sing and would say something about it. And I feel like her determination to be number one, to be the center, it helped her because, damn it, she, she is the center. But I feel like it hurt her in that she's going to, I think, I predict that her determination, pushing herself into singing things she couldn't sing because her voice wasn't ready for it, and then now damaging her vocal cords has created a problem where she will have a very short tenure in Morning Moose May when all is said and done because at some point she's just not going to be able to sustain as a singer. And I almost do feel bad for her because she had this determination and I feel like it's going to wear her out. Almost like she's a battery that drained itself too quickly and now she's kind of a husk of her former self. Because everything I've seen of Riho recently, she just looks dead. Dead on the outside, dead on the inside, sounds dead, her movements are choppy and dead. The poor girl has run herself dry, and she's only been in the group for a few short years. And I do feel bad that she has hurt her voice. I do feel bad that they've run her dry. But I still don't like her, and I think that she's a horrible actress, she's a horrible singer, and I don't like her attitude. I think she's fake. I think she's faker than Godot's boobs, currently. Old boobs, not so much. You can only use a joke once. If you use it twice in the same video, then you're just lazy. Well, now that we've got these girls out of the way, let's move on to some bigger and better things like Godo's tits. We'll see you guys next time with our number 18 ranked Morning Moose May member. Hopefully they'll be a little more dynamic than Sayashi Riho. See you then. Let us know who your ranked 19th member is in the comments below. We'll see you next week. Bye! Mwah.